What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this, uh, what, Sunday night? <laughs> Even though it's on the other side of midnight, I'm still holding on to every bit of Sunday that I can. Get ready to deal with Blue Monday tomorrow, right? <clears throat> you understand? Well, uh, I came across this story right here and uh, the madness is just just terrible it's all over the world here but we're talking about what's happening here in this country as usual mass shootings and uh this time it happened in new orleans it says new orleans police leader senseless shooting wounds 10 people okay ferguson said police quickly responded to the scene as patrols were heightened for the weekend's bayou classic the annual thanksgiving weekend rivalry football game between Grambling State and Southern University. Mm -mm -mm. That's a damn shame, man. Here's a little small video right here. It's only 25 seconds long. We can kind of check it out. See what's up. Continue to follow breaking news out of that mass shooting in New Orleans. Police say that 10 people have been shot on Canal Street, which is one of the most popular streets in New Orleans. Two of those people are in critical condition. Federal investigators have already been called to the scene to help police piece together what happened. Now, police also have a person detained, but they have not yet explained how that person might be involved. Oh, wow. Well. I tell you, man, you can't go anywhere and enjoy yourself for nothing in this country these days without having to be on a lookout. You know what I mean? It's a damn shame altogether, you know. But as we know, it says 10 people were shot and wounded early Sunday near Fr the French Quarter in New Orleans, a popular spot for tourists. Hours later, in another part of town, another shooting killed two men and wounded two others. People said both shootings remain under investigation and authorities did not immediately draw any connection between them. Two of the 10 men, well, two of the 10 people shot on Canal Street near the French Quarter were in critical condition and local hospitals. Police Superintendent Sean Ferguson said no arrests were announced by midday Sunday and police did not immediately release information about any of the victims. What happened in our city overnight was a cowardly and senseless act that we cannot and will not tolerate, Ferguson said in a statement. You can't blame him for feeling like that, man. You know what I mean? It seemed like, you know, uh, police are understaffed in a lot of these cities, you know, and the states. They're understaffed. And then, hell, for the, the, the ones that's not doing crime themselves... <laughs> You understand? Hell, you got to even get rid of them, you know, but it's just a damn shame, man. You can't go anywhere anymore and enjoy yourself, you know. So when you when you out there, y'all just got to have your heads. We all do on a swivel, you know, and be careful of your surroundings because you got a lot of weird ass ment. Well, I don't say mentally. They know what they're doing, but wicked, evil ass people. That's just on to make the shed blood, it seems, you know, it'd be good if you can just get the drop on them. And just, you know, actually arrest they ass before they can arrest you, if you know what I mean. Get them before they get you. You know, put their ass down, you know. Then that way you stop this shit altogether. You know, people will arm themselves. Because it's just that, you know, they want to make like, this is all a gun's fault. No, it's the person that's willing the gun. You understand? And if everybody were to, well, pretty much responsible people were to arm themselves and you see a weird motherfucker coming out of the blue with a gun just want to shoot somebody because he mad at the world because his ass unhappy put him out his misery see put him out his misery so he'll make misery for somebody else that's just the way i look at it but i digress back to the story he said in new orleans has seen a significant reduction in violent crimes over the past four years ferguson told the new orleans advocate the Times of Pacayu, yeah, Pacayu, that a person of interest has been detained, but it was not immediately clear whether the person was any connect had any connection uh, to the shooting. The first shooting happened about 3:20 a.m. on a busy commercial block of Canal Street that has streetcar tracks and is near many hotels. 
Ferguson said police quickly responded to the scene as patrols were heightened for the weekend's Bayou Classic, the annual Thanksgiving weekend rivalry football game between Grambling State and Southern University at Merced Benz, well, Mercedes Benz <laughs> Syndrome. <clears throat> I was thinking about Merced, California when I first seen that. Uh, while this investigation is in the very beginning stages, one thing is certain. We will not stop until we identify the, and arrest those res responsible, Ferguson said in a statement. New Orleans Mayor uh, Latanya Contrell also pledged to bring per the perpetrators to justice. Hopefully they do. I didn't see like right here. You know, it says there's several people wounded in a hog stabbing incident. You know, I guess this happened in the Netherlands, though. See, madness is all over this world. See, all kinds of shit, you know. But to continue here, it says the shooting on Canal Street early this morning were an ugly disruption of an otherwise beautiful holiday weekend. We will do everything we can we can to wrap the victim and their families in our love and support and to bring the criminals responsible to justice, she said via Twitter on Sunday. Kenneth Colbreth told the New Orleans advocate, the Times Bacayum, Bacayum, that he had gone into CVS Pharmacy in the early morning hours to make a quick purchase. Moments later, he walked out to a crime scene. She. On my way out of the CVS, I heard pops, Colbert said. It was so many and couldn't keep, I couldn't keep count. Mm -mm, damn. People just shoot, they just shooting crazy, you know? Culver spent the rest of the morning watching the scene with law enforcement and several emergency vehicles moving in and out, uh, well, in and out at a rapid pace. <clears throat> Police initially said 10 people were wounded. They later said 11 were wounded, but the police department then sent a statement saying the correct number was 10. The shooting on Canal Street happened near the spot where 10 people were shot, one of them fatally on Bourbon Street in the French Quarter on November 27, 2016. One man was convicted at, well, convicted of attempted manslaughter and obstruction of justice, but jurors could not reach a verdict on a second degree murder charge. Another man awaits trial. Stiffer penalties will help too curb a lot of this violence, you know. I it's like I said before too. I think when a person do a mass shooting, he shouldn't be allowed, you know what I'm saying, to give up. You know, I mean right there they just kill his ass on the spot. You know, don't give him a chance, put the gun down, and be taken alive. You done already shot, you know, however many people. You understand? We see you pretty much got you red handed. So you ain't going, we, we finna do your trial right here, you know, and be done with it, you know. But to continue, the shooting Sunday afternoon that killed two men and wounded two others happened in a residential area about three miles, five kilometers north of the French Quarter. Hmm. Yep. Too many mass shootings, just too many, too many mass shootings, you know what I'm saying? And the way to do that, you know, is like I said. When you catch them in, you know, red-handed, committing these shootings, go ahead and have trial right there in the street. You see? But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts and views and opinions on it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please to remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.